Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it's all up next. When you think about the classic venues to host the NFL's ultimate game, this one's right up near the top of the list. The Caesar Superdome here in New Orleans. We are minutes away from Super Bowl 59, and we've got a tremendous matchup in store. The moment is upon us, and we've got what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the AFC champion Baltimore Ravens taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis and what a season it's been for our AFC champions. I mean, this was a fight just to get to the Super Bowl. You got to figure that they are very battle tested and ready. I'd agree with you 100% about that. You don't get there without having those types of attributes and that's what you look for in a Super Bowl team. Character, confidence. These guys don't lack for either one of those. Now they're here. Now they're ready to win. Meanwhile, for our champions of the NFC, this was a battle of attrition this year. It was a tough road to get here, but now they feel like they are battle-tested and ready to go. And that certainly cannot be overlooked. They've taken everyone's best shot this season, and they've withstood all of them. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. As we begin the Super Bowl, we are looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. Pushes him over. Get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give them 15 yards to start their first drive of the game. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Throwing his hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 18 more yards there and another first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Again, he'll drop the throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Every possession in the postseason magnified. And look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit. So every point is precious. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And 
and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. And he spoke very eloquently and passionately on media day about what a victory here would mean for him. He knows this just isn't any other game. This is the kind of game that stays with you for a lifetime. If there's anyone on this field tonight who's most ready for this moment, I think it's this man right here. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He dumps it off for Henry. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Here's Jackson to throw. That's complete left side to Bateman. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. And that's good for a gain of six. And now we've got a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. From the gun on third down, Jackson. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Well, we know he can run the football too, but he's a good pass catcher. and That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second and seven. Off tackle left with Henry. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here is third and five. In motion right, one of the tight ends. Throwing is Jackson. The short one there, caught by Likely. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And now off to the races down the right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have a nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play. On 
one for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So an early 10-0 lead for him now as they kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Ravens ready to take over. They look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. In motion, Aguilar. Back to the air, Jackson following the pick six. This goes to a former Eagle, Nelson Aguilar. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Second down in the yard. Inside handoff, Henry, and trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, Go defense ahead. sold out for the run. Worked out well. That ball's caught. Aguilar, right side. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. What we hear so often, how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's Hurts to throw. Complete. Smith has it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Hurts to his former Alabama teammate Smith for an eagle first down. Defensively going forward, they're going to have to watch out for him on plays just like that. It's a drag route across the field, and they're trying to free him up and let him run after the catch. That won't be the last time we see that play, and it works there to pick up a first down. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. 
Campbell making the catch. Two yards on the pickup there, and it's second down. They'll look to throw again. It's caught. Smith. And he's got this down to the 35. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit. And that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completion step up and make those throws, and he did that. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it, but it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. We are just getting started here at Super Bowl 59 in New Orleans. One quarter in the books. 10-zip our score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon God and Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Michael Pierce in all of his 340-pound glory gets the sack. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. On third down, Barkley. And Barkley did not get there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. And they'll run for it with Barkley. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll go to Barkley again. A nice little juke. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. 25 yards for Saquon Barkley. And the Eagles continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Well, they've done a pretty good job keeping him in check to that point, but he finally breaks off a nice run here and gets into the end zone. And it just takes one, doesn't it, partner? That can undo a lot of good work that a defense has done to that point. You break off one right there, and everything suddenly looks bad for you. Elliott on for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. The offense for the Ravens returns to the field. 
And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. Well, no, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called can go. I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. From the gun, it's Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Big strides, look at him go. Touchdown! Mark Andrews, 59 yards. And the Ravens are on the board here in this Super Bowl. Well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill a Devontae Adams and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, And that'll cut the lead to 17-7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable, and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards you've really done some damage in an nfl game and now he's looking just to add to his totals hurts and the eagles come up here first and 10 right at the 30. they begin with a run by barkley and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down officially no gain on the play and it's second down if this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Tight end, Dallas Goddard. And this will leave him a yard short. 
Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere. In the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs. And sometimes you can be a little too quick. Thus, inaccurate, incomplete. The Eagles on third down, just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Back to throw again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they get five there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. From the gun, it's Hurts. That ball caught by Campbell. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. Hurts. Touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are feeling good as they extend their lead in this Super Bowl. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Jackson. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. They go play action with Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. 
It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be fourth down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And they have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 20. They'll start out here with the option left. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Throwing his hurts. And this one complete to Smith. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Able to avoid him at the 40. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Bottom line is that he is just something else as a runner because there are not many QBs in this league who can rip off a game that big. And he did it with the defense, give him a little extra attention after he hit him on a run earlier this series. Hurts sets up to throw it. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. To throw once more on second and ten. Hurts. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. They'll drop to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Hurts fumbles it. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. We know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field, 
and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. First and ten here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. After the fumble recovery, it's Jackson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Jackson. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. And this drive was almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Henry up the middle. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. It's taken to the 26. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This one goes out wide for Barkley. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Now second and 11 from the 32. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Oh man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Deontay Hardy back deep. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half.
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. Now Jackson. Looking for Bateman. He's got him complete. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. play of the half here it's Jackson he's got his man it's Andrews and Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as he'll get this up past the 40 so it's halftime here on sports grandest stage in the Super Bowl as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports halftime report take it away coach okay Brandon thanks very much what a season this has been hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. We just watched a fine first half out of the mobile quarterback, that's Jalen Hurts. He's got a touchdown through the air as his guys have raced out to a gigantic early lead. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. From the gun, Jackson. And his throw is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's second and ten. In motion, Aguilar. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick him into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence the big plays are out there. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson on target to his man, likely. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Running from the gun with Henry. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Now it's Jackson. And this is gonna be home in by the tight end Andrews. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pickup there, 21 yards. 
Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Here's Jackson to throw. A slant route caught by Bateman. And down inside the 15 he goes. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. To throw is Jackson. Over the middle complete. It's Flowers. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson keeping it himself from eight yards out. And the Ravens are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit, because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate. You should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead down to 10, 24-14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Now they were terrific in the first half. Built up a sizable lead. And it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bend it. They're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. When you see those RPOs run, you need the first man to attack and be a disruptor. And on that play, he closed down fast and helped knock it away. Here's Hurts to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting the game. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. He'll look to throw. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Kyle Van Noy drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game.
The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Now it's Jackson. Throw caught by Flowers. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. Well, if you do read man covers, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Now second and three. Jackson now. It's caught by Aguilar. Seven yards there and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. In motion, Aguilar. And they run the option here on first and ten. A tackle made there by Caden Stearns. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. This one down to the edge of the red zone. Excellent job on the keeper. 20 yards and a first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. First down carry for Henry. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Here now, second and four. And now Jackson will look to throw it. There's a nice move. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Off the option, here's Henry. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. From the two now, second and goal. Henry is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Third and goal, Jackson. There's Flowers. He's got it. Touchdown, Ravens. 
Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Ravens have cut it back within a score. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Tucker now for the extra point. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told, and it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Hurts sets up to throw it. This short throw caught by Goddard. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. So that's the end of three here in Super Bowl 59 from Caesar Superdome, the fourth and final quarter coming right up. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now there's just one quarter that remains in this edition of the biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, as we get set for the fourth quarter. Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl, and now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Yeah, he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Well, every lineman knows the rule. You only get a one-yard buffer beyond that line of scrimmage, and then the flag is thrown, and he got tagged for it there. The Eagles on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and eight. Throwing his hurts. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Justin Matabike in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. The Ravens offense and Lamar Jackson set to take over once again.
The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And this could become a career-defining drive for some. Down three, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is where the legends are made in the National Football League as they begin this drive first and ten. So the completion good for six yards. And that will bring up second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do. But what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Jackson. Slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in this Super Bowl. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. A shotgun handoff to Henry. He's got it to the 43 here. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. From the 43, here's a second and eight. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. And he's dropped right at the 40, gain of three. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Big third down, a field goal from this spot, 57 yards as they hope to move it a little closer. They go play action now. Jackson. That is caught. He will have the first down and a bit more. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Ravens have regained the lead in the second half of this Super Bowl. So quite the comeback here. They have erased that deficit, pushed themselves out in front now here in this fourth quarter. But this game's kind of felt like a horse race, hasn't it, partner? Because you had the other guys run out to their big lead, but then slowly and surely, they've been creeping up and closing that gap. Now they've stuck ahead in front here late in the game. The finish line's not far away. They need their defense to finish this thing off. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Five plays there on that drive, and it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Well, now how about this return? A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at about the 32. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Oh. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Hurts. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Play action. It's Jackson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Josh Schwett rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage. At that time, they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. From the gun, it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 25 yards that time. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. They'll send the tight end in motion left. Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and a couple. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 56 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. This has been a tremendous drive to this point, and this is all you want, playing with a lead in the fourth quarter. If you can keep the ball on the ground, keep the sticks moving, you're going to be in good shape to finish this one off.
They keep it with Henry on first down. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Play action. Now Jackson. A quick throw there is incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Jackson. And that is incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? So here comes Justin Tucker in a big spot. This will get the lead up to seven. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that'll make this a seven-point game. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game. But to come in this late, and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. They'll come up first and ten here. Back to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number... It's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Back to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end gunner. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. He'll look to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. He's back to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the posts, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Setting up to be a finish for the ages here. All tied in the final minutes of the Super Bowl as the kick is away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. Look at the clock, a decent amount of time here in a tie game. What do they do? No panic situation at all. They've got to get a couple of chunk plays, pick up nice bits of yardage. Target the sidelines. Target the sidelines because you want to get out of bounds and make sure that clock stops. Because if the clock stays running, that makes things that much tougher for you. It can always bleed out on you. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. They'll come up now. Second and nine. Jackson to throw. This throw incomplete nearly picked off. And with his pedigree... He doesn't drop many of those, but third down coming up. Throwing Jackson. Incomplete. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation. And now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made in my estimation. The Ravens send their punter out now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. It's a 47-yard punt, return of six. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you and I both know the safe calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. And that won't help much. Only a yard on first down.
And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. So it's the Ravens who won the toss. They'll get the football first here in overtime as the kick is away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And the Ravens taking the field. Well, CD certainly doesn't get any more exciting than this. Overtime in the postseason. Of course, keep in mind things are different than the old way it was in the playoffs. Now both teams guaranteed a possession, so a touchdown here if they get one, the ball game will not be over. And partner, as we both know, many people have called for this change before, and they finally got it after the Buffalo-Kansas City Classic in the 2022 playoffs. Patrick Mahomes and KC, they score first, game over. Josh Allen and Bills never touch the football, and people hated that. Now the game reaches OT, every playoff team has a chance to fight to extend their season. So the plan has got to be, if you win the toss and you take the ball, reach the end zone and score, and put as much pressure on your opponent as possible to try and win a game in OT in the playoffs. Tense moments in overtime of a Super Bowl. Remember, a touchdown doesn't yet clinch it as they come up on second down. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. A three and out could really hurt here in this opening drive of overtime. Big third down coming. Jackson from the shotgun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Well, forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. Not lacking aggressiveness here to begin overtime, Charles. A pretty big play right there. And looked like it might have caught the defense off guard. They may have been expecting something a little more conservative. Yeah, they've got to shore things up in a big way because they make any more mistakes like that and really let them drive it on them. They'll be putting their offense in a tough spot to answer if they want to extend their season. A quick pass out to Aguilar. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. And this is into the hands of Andrews downfield. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That's good for 28 yards. Well, things now, Charles, looking pretty good here. A great opportunity to try to cash in for six on the opening possession of overtime. And what I'm liking, Brandon, is what I see down on the sidelines. I see a defense huddled up and ready to go, already preparing for their opportunity to go on the field and close out this game. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. A two-yard touchdown run.
And Charles, that touchdown alone doesn't win him the game anymore with the rule changes in overtime of the postseason, but they still went down, scored, got the job done, and now they put it in the hands of their defense. And with the other side now guaranteed an overtime possession, getting that score was vital. The pressure is now on their opponent, and their defense, they have to play off the momentum the offense generated. One stop, and they end this game. Tucker with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And out now come the Eagles. Well, CD, in the regular season, they would already be celebrating. Not so simple here in the playoffs. Now they also need to make a defensive stand if they want to pick up the victory. Yeah, and I'm sure the team would be in favor of just taking the win right now, but in a small way, those defenders are also kind of happy for the rule change because now, on the big stage of postseason, they're the ones who can come out here and lock down the victory. Pass to Brown, he's got it on the crossing run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. But we know they need a touchdown here to keep their season going. And on that play, wasting no time to try to push that ball downfield, partner. Yeah, and even though the season's hanging in the balance on this drive, I don't know what you see, but I don't see any fear in the eyes of this offense. They're dialing up big plays, risky throws. They'll do whatever it takes to match touchdown for touchdown. And in this moment, they need to play the best they have all season. And they certainly appear to be ready to rise to the occasion. Now this is where the new rule comes into effect. In past years, this game's over. They've got a chance, though, to match touchdowns now. It's first down. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. Hurts sets up to throw it. He dumps it off to Barkley. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Throwing his hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 24-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're in OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Working from a seven-point deficit here in overtime of this Super Bowl. And remember, they'll need to score before time runs out as they work on second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Hurts. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. 
Well, what a game this has turned out to be here. Second possession of overtime. Obviously, Charles, they need the touchdown. And now looking pretty good here in the red zone. And in addition, they face a very important decision if they do reach the end zone. Kick the extra point, take the tie, and send this game to sudden death. Or go for two and let it come down to one last two-point try. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's got it up and through. So that drive goes eight plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain of 37. So that about the shortest pass a quarterback can make, but it winds up going for a bundle. Yeah, let's face it, in the stats, it sure looks like a heck of a throw, doesn't it? <laughs> it's almost like in baseball, when you get that little Texas leaguer that turns into a double, you would think that you hit it off the wall. Big time play for him on a short little pass. Off the option, here's Henry. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. The 71 yards on the ground now for Henry. He's got a first down. Well, it certainly appears that the big guys up front have taken charge of the line of scrimmage. Two really nice plays back to back. But on the defensive side of the ball, there shouldn't be any despair. Okay, they've got us a couple of times here. Hang in there, keep your composure, and try and figure it out for the next play. So it's up now to one of the most accurate kickers in NFL history, Justin Tucker. This undoubtedly the biggest kick of his life. And his kick is good. The field goal is through the uprights, and they've won the Super Bowl. And it's all over. Just one is left standing, and that one is the Baltimore Ravens, your Super Bowl champions. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That The task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever.